Hello, welcome back to Ben Sushi Life Noting. In this episode, I want to talk about this node called Profile Param Parametric Node. So this node is a supposedly SVG-like node where you provide a bunch of code or kind of like text of code like this and you're gonna end up with a uh, curve. So we're gonna be working only in a 2D mode and we're gonna be writing something like this but it's a uh, it looks kind of complex and difficult but if you want to start with this and write manually uh, it might be slightly ab abstract but you can try doing it by following the grid that's actually quite interesting to try so the way I will work is uh, I will go to the top view and then I will actually start with an actual curve so I'm gonna be using a Bezier curve to start with. I'm gonna go to edit mode. I'm gonna switch the curve, set spline into poly, so simplify the curve a little bit. I'm gonna put it like that. And I will imagine this is like a maybe like a hat or like a bottle. So we can start extruding. So let's make it make something super simple okay just something like that nothing too fancy you might think okay this is already done and you can already you can do it manually right you can just go back to edit mode and make changes but let's see what uh, we can do with this I'm gonna make it like that I will hide the original curve. I will create a text editor and from actually from this selection I will grab it so it says does not support poly curve type yet. Okay I go back to edit mode curve switch it back to Bezier from selections now we actually have a text here it's giving us red color error that's because we need to plug in something into the A so there's already something going on there and there's a lot of text and a bunch of points basically M is actually our starting point um, I'm gonna delete all of this for now, all these comments. Okay, file, save. So M is our starting points. Um, actually, I want this to be zero, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. And then L is gonna be drawing line from just what we draw before, exactly like that. And there's this variable A. Okay, I'm just gonna show it to you what the process is gonna be. If I refresh this, if I control click, so I have this viewer draw. We actually have something now. This color is still red. Okay. So now what's gonna happen if I scrub that? Okay, it's pushing it like that because it's kind of pushing it in the X and Y directions at the same time. Okay, so where is this gonna be useful for us? Basically, the term parametric is the one that's kind of interesting or maybe slightly scary, but basically let's analyze this let's use index viewer for now I will plug this vertices there so now you can see a oh, very tiny so on the Mac it's actually looking like this but basically there's a number 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 so that's the index let's suppose we want to make this parametric let's suppose we want to make this one and two we want to push it in x directions so 
so one and two I'm gonna just again it's gonna replace this with a uh, with capital B and I will refresh this using my arrow key or just simply grab this you can see B appears and now I can push the B suddenly we have control over the B using this value okay so I can push it really far now instead of having a hat now we have like a, something like a mushroom or can be a bottle we, we will see how it goes so zero one two let's see if we want to make two and three going ups and down okay two and three zero one zero one two and three okay i'm gonna plus c here and update so now we have c we can push it up and down like that okay suddenly we have control for that as well so the so one two three four five this is five maybe we want to control three and four Yeah, I think the next will be three and four. One, two, three, four and five actually. Four and five here. We want to control it in X. So plus D plus D. Update we have now parameter called D. Okay, now we can push it. Okay, you got you got the drill, right? And now we want to push the, the top area here. One, two, three, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, the last three we want to push it up up and down. That means it's the Y direction. So we're gonna put E. Update it. Now we have E. Okay, so we have E now. We actually don't need this curve anymore, uh, but we can keep it like that. If you ever want to add another point here, you can simply add, add it here. Just copy and then paste in between. You got a new point. But uh, let's continue. So we, we can have long head, shorter head. So what else you can do here? So this uh, A is now used for us, but uh, it's still kind of interesting to have that one. So suddenly we have this parametric hat, right? So okay, this one is pushing it like that. We can have another one that's pushing the one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, four, five, six. Four, five, six. So if I'm doing everything correctly, we, we keep adding this variable. So anytime, uh, actually, after the curve, you don't actually need to plug in here right away. You can always randomize if you like. So randomize the points. Yeah, of course, uh, just randomizing it in X and Y. Maybe not too crazy, otherwise the head is completely broken, but uh, just an idea. You can actually do bevel as well. Just 
stable. So for the C's, I just vertex mode. New edges data. So this one is doing the bevel on every vertices. So there's a limitation on this, but it's okay. For now, it's looking pretty good. By the way, like all these points currently, it's only uh. Let me try. We only using L symbol. We can actually use other, not just L. There's M L C A X X actually to close it. If we if we use X down there and updates, that that will close this part. So now you can you can actually do a lot of things here. Uh, you you can mirror it. You can revolve. You can do a lot. So this is flat at the moment, but you can always rotate it later. Uh, you can fill it, you can fill hole. So like that. Increase the size. Yeah. And you can extrude this region. The easiest is uh, using solidify, of course, but uh, we can use extract region or inset. Let's just do this. Right. And it's still parametric. We can still play around with this value. So it's pushing. So that's kind of nice. To have actually this and this. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this this C symbol. Maybe I shouldn't use C there, but I can put the C maybe somewhere there, and then put the L here. What's gonna happen? Well, suddenly we have that. Okay, let's uh, let's have a look. Get rid of the X. Oh no, just keep the X. Suddenly we have this curve. That's because of the C, I think. Just for you to know, we, we have that kind of ability. If this number sounds scary, you can always, you know, round it a little bit, so you don't have like crazy value. This is from our original curve. We are kind of like just snapping it. This makes the parametric a lot easier. So you can zero this out, it's clean, so 0, 0.0, 0, 0 0.5, 0 so it's kind of like working with the grid and you snap it and you update it, so we can zero this out, it's gonna be nice and clean, we still, still have that, we have this ability, okay this is cool, So this is pushing it in L. Maybe we need one more. Push it in the in the Y axis. You know. See this last point plus G. Update it. 
Because you need... Oh, just in the... in the y-axis. There you go. So... In fact, just add another G there. So we have that. Quite nice. And the fill. This fill hole need a correct number of size, sides. So this length. How many sides we have depending on the edges. Plug this in. Now it's correct. Okay, and you can always bake it. You have this. You can bevel it. Oh, so it doesn't like this bevel. Try smooth. Okay, maybe. Oh well, I know the one that can always work is a remesh modifier. Yeah, so we have something there. So like I said, we can we can use revolve and whatever. Um, yeah, that's basically what profile parametric is. If you want to make this number a little bit more interesting, you can always use the the mapping. So this this number, if you want to, you can just map range. So we can have value here, and minimum and maximum. So no matter, so this can be between 0 and 1. 0 and 1, right? So and you have minimum and maximum value here that you can adjust until you are happy. And then you give it to your user, okay, you can only use this number to create your hat or whatever let me try I keep saying hat but I'm not making a hat we have a twist uh, what is it called lathe the yeah, lathe spin screw revolve this node should work with this bevel Control click. It's revolving, revolving, revolving it in the Z axis. We can change the axis here. Okay, that's uh, that's the way. So, okay, hopefully it still work. We have our procedural head or mushroom, and everything looks pretty cool. Okay, we can. Yeah. yeah, have some kind of a like a turban or something. Let's see. I keep it simple for now. All right. So, from something that's really just a doodle here, this curve, we create totally procedural creations here, and. Yeah, if you like this, um, you can always select all and then go under preset, manage preset, save preset, name it my hat. Okay, next time you open blend, delete everything, stretch of nodes go to your presets create my hat oh profile parametric okay interesting of course we lost our text did i oh it's still there why is it why is it broken then That's a that's a mystery. 
go for the metric. So it's all. It should anyway. It should work. Um, maybe there's a bug there, but since that's for special developers to take a look. But anyway, we save our blend. Always save the blend. And yep. So we have our mushroom back. Something happened there. Okay, there you go. That's our head. Hopefully you enjoyed this one. Uh, let me know if you have any more question and. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.